Tonight we're hearing from the president of Burrowville's town council who said during a recent meeting he would not comply with a new state gun law. The law in question would make it a felony to possess magazines that hold more than 10 rounds. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie spoke with the town council president Don Fox and has his story now. Alex? Well, Shannon, Don Fox made those statements just one day after Governor Dan McKee signed three gun bills into law. The magazine law states that residents have six months from the day it was signed to surrender them to police, transfer them to states where they're legal, or modify them. For now, Fox says he has no intentions to. Don Fox tells me he's been a gun enthusiast and owner for years. Since I was a young boy, my, my father owned guns. He would take us to the gun range. Now, Fox is the president of the town council in Burrowville, which in 2019 became the first town in Rhode Island to declare itself a Second Amendment sanctuary town. In part, it means the town will not pay for the storage of weapons that are seized if gun control legislation that banned specific firearms was passed. Such legislation did pass and was signed by Governor Dan McKee on June 21st. If this goes into effect, there's going to be some hard decisions that will need to be made by our town and any other town that's passed the Second Amendment sanction resolution. In a June 22nd town council meeting, Fox took out two high-capacity magazines on the table. He said he would continue to bring them to meetings beyond the 180 days in which Rhode Island's new legislation would go into effect, that he wouldn't give them up, and recommended residents do the same. Not everyone took the same stance and voiced continued concern at the next council meeting in July. I understand people have a right to have their guns and they want their guns, and I do understand that. But I do feel that the um, restrictions on magazine limits is necessary. Fox says he and others hope the new magazine law will be found unconstitutional, but isn't saying other existing laws are. Let's enforce the gun laws that are on the books. Let's make sure that there are strict penalties for gun law violations. That's where we, that's where we really need to start. Fox tells me pending any legal action halting the new law taking effect, that any definitive action on the town's end will happen closer to when residents near the deadline of having to turn those high-capacity magazines in later this year. Live in studio, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.